Well, hello there, Auric fans, especially XL21 fans. So as you know, I refurbed this machine and put in some new parts, one of which was a brand new brush roll. And I noticed that the brush roll had very, very stiff bristles. They weren't super long, they were extremely stiff. And when I did the sand in the carpet test, the results were actually very, very high. Maybe a little suspiciously high. Then I went ahead and I did a pretest of a whole house cleaning. And then I went and emptied the bag. I actually was able to reverse this through that hole and take a look at the contents. And I was shocked. What I saw in there, of course, was all the normal dirt that you would normally see. But I saw a massive really massive amount of carpet fiber. I'm talking about perfectly clean carpet ripped right out of the carpet itself. So I'm going to do here what's known as a dry pass test or maybe a dry only pass test, meaning there's absolutely nothing in this carpet. It's been fully cleaned. And by that, I mean, I get it down to maybe a hundredth or maybe two one hundredths of a gram to where there's just nothing in there appreciable. So I'm going to take this bag and it's been, it's been blown out and I'm going to do 10 full cycles like I would normally do for my sand and baking soda tests. And I realize you can't see that because I can't see that either. And then we're just going to measure what the dry passes pick up. Okay, we're starting out with 103.8584. Okay, I'll say I'll say 103.85. That flipping around there isn't gonna make that much of a difference. I want to see if I'm actually picking up any significant amount of the carpet. I don't care about a hundredth or two hundredths or maybe even three or four hundredths of a gram, that doesn't bother me. But if I pick up something significantly more than that, then I'll have some real proof that this machine right here is so harsh, it cleans your carpet by literally ripping it out. out of the way. So here we go with 10 full cycles, high speed. We started out with 103.85. Yeah, there we go. And we're at 
sits a little better that way. <laughs> yeah, it picked up a little bit. Let me move the camera so you can see that a bit better. Maybe even a little better than that. Okay, so we started out with 103.85, and down there is 104.5, so minus 104.5, good enough. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. So, with a completely clean carpet, this brush roll right here is so, uh, is so aggressive that doing 10 full cycle dry passes literally ripped up 65 one hundredths or really rounded almost 0.7 grams. So if I were to go and pull the stuff out of this bag or cut this bag open, you're going to find you're going to find a bunch of clean carpet fibers in there. That also means if I have something like that, 0 0.65, and I'm testing 5 grams, well, the result's going to be off by more than 10%, because 10% of 5 grams would be 0 0.5 grams. So that... I think it was 88% was the sand pickup. You're going to have to subtract at least 10% from that. Because, see, when I use a bag like this, I normally don't tear it apart and try to separate everything. And you can't really do it with baking soda. I could probably do it with sand. I did in the past with a paper bag. And I have some more paper bags. But the fact that it picked up that much, whoa. And by the way, I plan to actually do this test with other vacuums as well, um, uh, bagged and bagless. But I had to start somewhere. So this one is tremendously overly aggressive for agitation. It's, it, it's just, it, it's too much. And the fact that you have 65 hundredths of a gram on clean carpet, mm, that's, that's really aggressive. Anyway, this thing will have great pickup. And when I do the final um, test, then I make a video when um, I do the whole house carpet cleaning, the weighed results part, I'm going to mention this again. That, hey, what you pick up in here, that's going to... It, it's going to have a lot of carpet in the bag that I don't necessarily want. So the number you're going to get it's going to be kind of artificially high. All right, so I've blathered on long enough about this. But bottom line, uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty interesting, I think. So if you um, value your carpet and you don't want the highest level of agitation, well, don't get this. And by that, I mean don't get that brush roll. So not a good thing. Um, that's too harsh to use on a regular basis on a carpet that you care about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.